Excuse me, ma'am, but I got a warrant to inspect the junk in your trunk. Baby, I'm hurt real bad. I'm, I need a doctor. They left me here to die. Only you can help me, Charlotte. Untie me, and we'll leave here together. Christopher Kringle, report to the principal's office immediately. Yeah, yeah, can I get a grande caramel frap and a venti cup with 10 pumps of hazelnut, three shots of espresso, no caramel drizzle with whip on top? Jesus, fine. Hey. Yeah. I just tipped you. <laughs> I don't care. I just tipped you. Come on. You know what? I'm never coming back here again. That sign's bullshit. Emma, come on. I already warned you twice. Okay. So then you must not like having a job here then. You know what? Just don't even bother showing up for your next shift. Yeah, you will. Now move your ass. You got a line. No, I've been waiting here all night. Cut in front. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Monroe. Merry Christmas to you. It's, it's one person, that's one less doll. Oh. I think I'll step in and Wait. save her. And Wiggly takes over your heart and your soul, for girl boy. Mr. President, we've just received a message from the Pentagon. There's been an explosion on the Eurasian continent. What? Moscow is gone, sir. Mr. President, we need to prepare for a counter-strike. We need to get you out of Washington and on board Marine One. Oh. You brush his hair with a comb. His body's made out of foam. That's certified laundry safe. Keeping my tub of popcorn. Wiggly is good. Wiggly is just. Wiggly! Holiday season. Now you got a reason for friends to come and play. Take a hit, Alice! Oh, come on, Deb, that's not how it works! You're either in the smoke club or you're out! Carol, my love, I want you to choke me out at night. Uh -huh. I want you to choke me. This seems like a private moment. I want you to choke me. Like, who is this for? I want you to choke me while I jerk off. I want you to choke me while I jerk off. But how are we gonna wake him up, Uncle Wiley? He's all that you wanted, he's all that you needed for this holiday Hi, Paul. Hey, Melissa. Uh, were you gonna sign up for the company softball league? Uh, well, it, it might be fun. Okay, well, uh, Mr. Davidson wants his reports on his desk by the end of the day. His belly so squishy! Is Uncle Wiley Wordos Wiggly Cup Rob! Listen, I've been waiting here all night and I am not leaving here without a Wiggly. It's my job when the plant closed. I can't afford three $500 for a doll. A Wiggly is $49.95. Well, if you're not gonna sell me that doll, then I guess... I'm just gonna have to take it! Hands up the merchandise ah! pal! There were no survivors. Save for one pocket-sized squirrel we found burrowed in the chest of a local woodworker. <laughs> well, according to our records, you two are very good friends. Peep would like to see it become something more. I think it's a really fun idea, Nora. Why aren't you working? Oh, I'm on vocal rest? What? I'm on vocal rest. <laughs> God damn it, Emma, now I need to make a tea with honey, okay? Oh my god. Ugh, Sam, you're such an asshole, okay? That uniform is so fucking sexy. Hey, uh, I have a little present for you. These two tickets to Mamma Mia. The people have been abandoned by everything. Everything except... Prados. <laughs> Hold this. When you made in America oh, In a valley of silicone It's a goddamn uprising is what it is. It could be anarchists, terrorists, socialists. Give me two hours, Mr. President. I'll organize a series of drone strikes against the key instigators of this revolt. No! No! He's mine! Back off or I will send a laser-guided ballistic missile to your house in Denver! You'll be scraping off what's left of your kids off the fucking pavement! I know it's hard. Well, that's really generous of you. Do you know about our new campaign to save the sea turtles? Really? Yeah. Uh, the campaign that doesn't exist? The one that I just made up? You don't give to Greenpeace, do you? Hey, yeah, half this typical day. What? Got me feeling in a beautiful way. No rhyme or reason.
one of my political heroes has always been John F. Kennedy. He saved this country from the Cuban Missile Crisis by keeping a cool head. That is what we need now, fellas. Cool heads. So, while you three devise a strategy, I'll hold on to the wiggly. But there's occasions met by lesser men who took the lead. He, she can be taught. <laughs> it's a pageant for the gallant. <laughs> Parents who are slightly imbalanced with passing prices, because you got vices that come in a variety of sizes. You a deal, I see a meal, but only one of us is getting a steal. Sorry, pal, the price just went up. Supply and demand is a wonderful thing. Whoever pays the most for a wiggly gets a wiggly. Hey, Henry, been a long time. <laughs> hey, boys, you ready to toss around that pig skin? Come on, Henry, we got some catching up. Working boys, we're out to the rest Candy canes in my bag In the schoolyard Mom is bringing my sled When the clock strikes three See, see you at the, the rink. rink And I'll ice up my skates Can't wait Deck the halls of high Deck up from the high school Carol in the halls Rise right with the tie you Orient my king See what winter brings for your Northville mistletoe the doll's only part of it. What, you don't remember your catechism class? Howie. Can I call you Howie? Howie. Listen, Wiggly wants us. He wants everything. He's a knockin' and he wants in. Howie! Listen. These riots are just the beginning. Right now, Wiggly is calling the wheat from the chaff. And when the only people left are his most devout followers, they will build him his birth canal. Yeah. I don't really like getting hit by cars anymore. <laughs> oh. Mom and I used to play zombie house, but dad can't because he's not supposed to hold a gun. <laughs> not even a fake one. He gets flashbacks. What are you? I thought we were all going to be here together. Oh. Uh, hi, welcome to Lakeside Mall Cineplex. How can I help you? Uh, sir? Okay, this is not the type of place where you can haggle, sir. <laughs> Like, I don't set the prices, okay? I'm just a high school kid. Next month it is. All right, well, you take care, Sam, and Sam, be careful because I love you. <laughs> Sam? Huh. Oh, Sam. He's doing just fine. Counseling's working out real oh. swell. <laughs> huh? Oh! I didn't even realize. <laughs> Don't I know your face? Ain't you been told not to hang around this mall? She has the lying tongue of a snake! I've seen it, brothers and sisters, on the security camera footage. This witch stole a wiggly doll and put it in the backpack of a little girl with pigtails and a baseball cap. My name is Sherman Young. 168 hours ago, I came to this mall to wait in line for a wiggly. Throughout that time, I ate nothing but snacks packed in a cooler by my mother and defecated into a bucket, all so that I would not lose my place in line. Faith in the one true God! All hail! I know why you walked that extra block instead of just going to Starbucks across the street. You sure it doesn't have anything to do with that cute little barista over there, huh? That's not the reason. Yeah, the uh, latte hotte. She's uh, known throughout the land, right? No, it's like, my wife, <laughs> right? It's like, boy, right, hey, hey, give me a chai iced tea, eh? Hey? Eh? Yeah. Now, uh, I know this may sound hard to believe. <laughs> But it seems that what these people are riding over is a, uh, a doll. Yes, Mr. President. This toy. It's called a uh, Tickle Me Wiggly. No, you're nothing more than a Harvard Law School community organizing prick. Take one step closer to my friend, Wren, and I'll rip your fucking throat out with my own teeth. Look, she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, OK? OK, well, then maybe we're out. Come on, Alice. These guys are assholes anyway. Oh. 
to the cloud. Cause I may not have a home, but that's way okay. Cause I prefer to roam the streets all day. The world is my house, the dogs are my food. Oh, look a new blouse and a new trash to do. Salt zombie trucks are snacking on a dead man's face. If we have faith, we will be rewarded with a cuddly toy. Hey, everybody! We're the Sniggles! Don't be scared. Everybody! Oh. Hello, Hannah. Let's be pallywals. Don't you want to tickle my tumsy wumsy? Well. Webby is a stupid bitch. You're being a rotten little banana. I'm going to have to peel you. I'm going to split you in two. I'm going to eat you, Hannah. I'm going to eat you right the fuck up. She wouldn't sing for him. <laughs> and I still haven't gotten my hot chocolate. Oh. I have very low blood sugar. Uh, Excuse me! <laughs> I have been waiting a very long while. Sorry. Kathy lost her cat in a tree. That's where cops! Never cops! Her cat is dead! Get back in the vehicle! Get back in the vehicle! Slowly get out of the vehicle! Slowly get out of the vehicle! I were you, sir, I'd say, I don't need your money, Linda Monroe, and I'd tear that check right in half. We'd all cheer. Come on, everyone. Tear that check. Stop. Tear that check. Hey, if the universe is infinite, and it's definite, there's an alternate reality where it's only you. What the fuck am I watching? This is the best movie ever! The mountain I would have to climb is so high up that I would have to die. Oh, I, I failed you once, but I won't fail again. You're not that cute, are you? In fact, you're real fucking ugly. Hey, Chris. Noel. Were you just talking to your locker? You're really Santa. Tell me something only Santa would know. Tell me what I asked for for Christmas when I was seven years old. I knew it. I knew you weren't Santa. Santa! Boris, give me that cock-sucking mother Fucking cock a doodle dog! There are monsters and there are men. There are monsters that live in your head. I can't be evil. I'm a status quo Democrat. All right, Dad, well, we'll meet you at the theater, okay? Um, I don't think I oughta. Why does it hurt to love you? Why am I in pain? Why does it hurt to know you? You let me down again. If I turned my insides out, would you even know that I was there? This is humanity's 11th hour. <laughs> so crash those shiny symbols. Got a show stopping him no for you. This call time up to my ass and shit. What's this business? Markets are crashing and I'm at the edge of my wits. I just can't take it. Ring a ling ding. When the bell rings, it's only a matter of time till Christmas break. Oh man, Mr. Humbugger, I'm in trouble now. Noel, I, I can't. A red tricycle.
nervous to leave home. But you gotta trust me. <laughs> it's gonna be so much better for you once you're out of there. And hey, maybe once you're gone, maybe then your mom will realize, hey, I gotta do better. Do you trust your sister, Hannah? Uh-huh. And do you believe that uh, no matter how bad it looks right now, uh, Things will get better. Hey, what's with that grammar? Even I know it's more bad. My name's General John McNamara of the United States Military Special Unit PEIP. We call it PEEP. And you never will. Not a PEEP. I follow a higher law than any institution could decree, and that is the universal truth of love and the strength of the human heart. Would you like to do some light reading on the subject? Special Unit PEIP. We call it PEEP. Oh, we're a fairly small team. Just me, and a few of my peeps. But before you do, you should know that my first act as Divine Prophet was to set fire to the Cinnabon as a sacrifice to a dark god. Oh, now you'd rather stay outside and keep the car warm. Okay. Hold on. Yes. I am the Divine Prophet. In the name of Wiggly, bring me the child. As a pillar of the community, we can agree I'm a bit of a man. It gets exhausting, everyone looking at me, jealousy has a bit of a stench. Don't do it. Two doors, not one. Bad place. Black and white. Wear a watch. <laughs> do you all see what I see? What I know, what I see Will tomorrow come today And turn the light off Now, I, I get that Alice is 18. She's a senior, she's got her own life, but I only get my daughter for one week a month and she wants to spend that whole time with her girlfriend, Deb. So I say, Bring Deb along, we'll all go see the show. And would you believe it? We get there and the whole theater was exploded by a goddamn meteor! Mamma mia! Hello? Hello? Please, God, I just want a black coffee! No! No! Not you two, Emma, please, God, stop singing! Okay. I know this is gonna sound crazy, and not very scary, but it is scary <laughs> if you think about the implications. <laughs> Promise me you'll think about the implications. I think the world is becoming a musical. Let it sink in. Okay. Okay, now, are you frightened? All right, stop, stop, stop. What is that? A whole other A section? God, what did you learn that? You know what? When I got this job, I signed up to serve coffee and cold, shitty pastries. If I wanted to be in a musical, I'd be in a damn musical. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Zoe. I was in Bregadoon in high school and I fucking killed it. Wait, what did you do to their coffee? <laughs> fucking gross! Dear Mom, it's been real. Real bad. I'd say you did your best, but I'm not a liar. Oh, L-I-E-R, babe. We get it, Ethan. You're a good speller. At first, I didn't know what she was to me. At first, I didn't know why I cared or why I wanted to hold her and rock her to sleep. Did I need her more than she needed me? No, do you, um, do you have a few minutes to- Just skip to the fucking- she And I'm in a hurry! <laughs> uh, fuck you! <laughs> Give me that talk! <laughs> yummy! Yeah. Hi, Gary Goldstein, attorney in law. I was a little further back in line. Gary, thank God. Are you aware that my client, Linda Monroe, suffers from a rare, little understood anxiety disorder? And any lasting medical conditions which may arise from stress caused on these premises are your liability, sir? 
I hope you have your finances in order. Get ready for audits. Audits up your ears. Audits in your yin yang. Audits at your war zoo. Oh, you state law. Are you aware my client Sherman Young is being discriminated against? Shut up, Gary. Ooh, right in the subpoena. 